ever let you go. And His will for us is to be delivered, to be healed, to be free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. says, Paul being a man of faith, looked beyond the sweet words and saw an evil spirit, darkness, troubling that woman. Paul turned and spoke to the evil spirit directly, he said to him, in the name of Jesus, come out of her. And that spirit left her. Whatever bondage Whatever trouble, whatever ancestral spirit, whatever demonic power, troubling your life, your health, your career, your home, right now in the name of Jesus. Stand your position and right now begin to rebuild that spirit in the name of Jesus. Paul sent forth the word of faith, the word of God in the soul of the spirit. It searches our heart. Uproot, tear down, destroy iniquity and set us free. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever spirit that is not of Jesus. Whatever unclean spirit. Troubling your dreams. Troubling your career. Troubling your life. I say out. I say out. I say out. You unclean spirit, anywhere you are, anywhere you are, I call you by your name. You are unclean. Come out of the body. Come out. Come out. I say out. I say out. Anywhere you are, I command you to come out. Come out, come out, come out, come out in the name of Jesus. No hiding place for evil spirit. No hiding place no hay escondite for darkness. Para la oscuridad. Jesus is light. Jesus is light. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de you unclean spirit. Tu espíritu the mundo. cause of heartache. You unclean spirit. The cause of nightmare. La causa de pesadillas. You unclean spirit. The cause of addiction. La causa de adicciones. Backwardness. Curses. I command you to come out in the name of Jesus. Te ordeno que salgas. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. That evil spirit behind that sickness. That evil spirit behind that pain. This behind that trauma. I command you to come out in the name of Jesus. Open your lips. Open your lips. Open your lips. Open your lips. Continue to command you to discrimination of your douleur, of your maladie. Command you to sortir au nom puissant de Jésus Christ. Prie. That spirit. That spirit. That spirit troubling your life. That strange voice, that strange sickness, that strange power of darkness, this yoke be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. You evil spirit, you ugly spirit, causing people to lose control. I command you to come out in the name of Jesus. I command you to come out in the name of Jesus. That strange object in your body. That strange object moving in your body. I command you to come out in the name of Jesus. I say out in the name of Jesus. You demon, hear my voice. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. In the name of Jesus. Open your lips, open your lips and rebuke that spirit. Continue to pray that this object strange that moves in your body, command it to come out in the name of the Jesus Christ. Continue praying that every object strange, every infirmity strange, is expelled from your body in the name of Jesus. The evil spirit and all that belongs to them are coming out of the life of the people because the man of God has commanded them to come out in the name of Jesus Christ. You can see what that woman is vomiting out of her system, what has cost her her health, is what God Almighty is pushing out of her. Whatever evil hands operating in your life, 
be broken in the name of Jesus. Whatever evil spirit behind that sickness, that disease, in your blood, in your food, in your tender, I command it to come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Come out to come out. Come out to come out. Tout esprit méchant derrière votre maladie, commandez à cet esprit de sortir au nom puissant de Jésus Christ. Whatever chain, whatever contact point, Satan is using to touch your hair, to destroy your life. That evil spirit, that contact is broken. Say whatever chain, Satan must have used to connect me to himself, to connect me to sickness, to disease, to trouble, to failure, to heartache. Be broken. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break that chain. Break that chain. Break the chain. Dites quelque chose à les chaînes que Satan a utilisé pour me connecter à lui-même, me connecter à la maladie. Brisez les chaînes au nom puissant de Jésus Christ. That chain of strange sickness be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Cette chaîne d'étrange maladie qu'elle soit brisée au nom de Jésus. That strange sickness in your body come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Maladie étrange dehors au nom de Jésus Christ. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. That evil spirit behind that barrenness, come out in the name of Jesus. Ancestral spirit, familiar spirit, in which way you operate in your life. I say leave in the name of Jesus. Leave in the name of Jesus. Leave in the name of Jesus. As you command the evil spirits to come out of your life, open your eyes and see what is happening around you. See the power of Jesus Christ working in action as everything that has been deposited in the system of the people of God are being flushed out as they pray in the name of Jesus Christ. You demon, you unclean spirit, you evil spirit, anywhere you are located, anywhere you are, anywhere you are, I say out, oh, I say out, oh, I say out. Oh. to come out and to come out, come out to come out, come out to come out. This is the arena of liberty. Ask Jesus to break that yoke. That yoke of ancestral spirit. That yoke of family curse. That idol, that spirit, that evil spirit, that evil spirit. Malédiction familiale. Ask Jesus to break that joke over your life. Voilà, Jésus de briser les chaînes. To break that joke. To break, le joug. break it, break it, break it, break it. Demande à Jésus de briser le joug dans votre vie, le joug des esprits ancestraux, des malédictions familiales. Priez. Ahora mismo rompe todo joug, todo joug de maldición générationnelle, d'enfermedad générationnelle. Rompe-le en el nombre de Jésus. That yoke of strange sickness affecting the whole family. That yoke, that yoke, that yoke, family curse, family curse, even attack. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken, be broken, be broken. You can see proof of the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that these people have eaten through the table of the enemy is being flushed out as they pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world, continue to connect by faith to receive all of the blessings God has provided for you today in Jesus' name. That spirit behind that sickness, that spirit behind that bedwetting, that spirit behind that fibroid, that spirit behind that sickness in your blood, in your fluid, I say out! I say out! No. I say out! No. I say out! I say out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out. Commander to come out, commander to come out, commander to come out. Commander à ces maladies qui dans vos fluides de sortir au nom puissant de Jésus Christ. Commander à ces maladies dans votre système de sortir au nom puissant de Jésus Christ. Continue to commander to come out in the name of Jesus. Ordonnez les que ça en le nom de Jésus. We are called to resist the devil, and the Bible says, "Shall flee far from us." By the authority in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. Every demonic power. 
Todo poder demoníaco. Any satanic bondage. Todo any yugo evil spirit satánico. against your life. Against your career. Tu carrera, against your home. Tu hogar, be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Se break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. Rompelo en el nombre de Jesús. By the anointing, the yokes have been broken. Indeed, Jesus is breaking the yoke and releasing the people from the bondage of Satan. And you can see poisonous substances that people are vomiting out as God Almighty is breaking that yoke that Satan has placed upon their lives. Say, you demon, you unclean spirit, I call you by your name. I call you by your name. In whichever way you operate, I command you in the name of Jesus. Say, leave my life. Say, leave. Say, leave. I command you to leave. Say, out. Say, come out. Say, come out. Say, come out. Say, come out. Command it to come out. Command it to come out. Command it to come out of your life. Ordenales espíritu mundo que salga de tu vida en el nombre de Jesús. Jesus is supporting your position. He say whatever you say in my name, I will see to it that it is done. And whom the Son of God sets free is free indeed. En este momento, espectador, continúe orando en el nombre de Jesús. La distancia no es una barrera. Continúe echando fuera todo espíritu inmundo en el nombre de Jesús. More people are still vomiting out poisonous substances deposited in their systems. Right now, continue to pray and cast out every spirit that is not of Jesus in your life. Remember that God Almighty has given us his word as a powerful weapon that Satan himself cannot withstand. So right now, continue to speak the word of God over your situation in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, say after me, you devil. Tu demonio. Say it with authority right now. Say, you devil, I command you to remove your hands from my life. Your hand of sickness, your hand of disease, your hand of pain, your hand of affliction, remove from my life. Remove from my life. Remove from my life. Open your lips and command the devil to remove his hand from your life right now. You sickness. You must leave right now. You affliction. You must leave right now. You cancer, you must leave right now. Command the devil to remove his hands from your life, from your health, from your family, from your children. Open your lips right now. Watch the screen and see what is happening. More and more people are vomiting out stress substances from their system that Satan has used as a chain to connect them to himself, afflicting their lives, and the power of God is pushing them out of their system right now. You can see strange substances and cowrie that person is, has vomited out of our system as a prayer is ongoing and the instruction is given in the name of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. And what Satan has used to put this woman in bondage is sent out of our system right now. You devil, you are the cause of sickness. You are the cause of disease. You are the cause of pain. I command you to remove your hand. Remove your hand from that woman. Remove your hand from that man. Remove your hand from my people. Open your lips right now. Command the devil to remove his hand from your life. The hand of sickness. The hand of affliction, the hand of generational curses, 
the hand of infirmity, the hand of witchcraft, in whichever departments of your life, open your lips and command the devil to remove his hand right now. Viewers all over the world, get connected to this prayer. Wherever you are watching right now, distance is not a barrier. As you are watching, command the devil to remove his hand from your life. Command the devil to remove his hand of sickness, to remove his hand of affliction, to remove his hand of poison, to remove his hand of pain from your life. Open your lips and get connected to this anointing right now. Conéctese ahora mismo en el nombre de Jesús y reciba en el nombre de Jesús. You can see calories that this woman is vomiting out of her system as the mass prayer is ongoing and the ministers of God are commanding everything that is of Satan to come out of the life of the people. This woman starts vomiting out calories as you can see on the floor right there. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Place your hand anywhere you feel pain right now. If you have brought the picture of a family member who you are here to stand in proxy on behalf of, hold that picture right now. Viewers all over the world, partake in this prayer. Place your hand anywhere you have that pain. And repeat after me. You devil! You devil! I command you! I command you to remove your hand from my life, from my health, from my business, from my family, from my children. Remove your hand of sickness. Remove your hand of disease. Remove your hand of pain. Remove your hand of generational curses. Open your lips and command that devil's hand to be removed right now. As you place your hand anywhere you feel that pain, command the devil to remove his hand. You sickness, you must leave with your master. You disease, you must leave with your master. You devil, you are the cause of that sickness. You are the cause of that heartache. You are the cause of that generational curse. You are the cause of that ancestral bondage. Remove your hand right now. Remove your hand. Remove your hand from my life. Remove your hand from my family member. The person I came to stand in proxy for today. You demon, you devil, remove your hand right now. Remove your hand. Tu demonio, quita tu mano en el nombre de Jesús de mi vida, de mis finanzas, de toda área y departamento de mi vida, en el nombre de Jesús. Tenez la foto de votre famille et continuez de prier. Dites de toi, diable, c'est toi qui détiens ma famille. Libère ma famille au nom puissant de Jésus Christ. The hand of the devil is the cause of sickness, the cause of hypertension, the cause of fibroids, the cause of barrenness, the cause of cancer, the cause of HIV AIDS. It is the cause of that strange sickness, that hidden disease. Command the devil to remove his hand right now. Remove your hand, you devil. You the cause of sickness. You devil the cause of pain. You devil the cause of affliction. Remove your hand. Leave with your sickness. Leave with your pain. Leave with your affliction. Leave with your infirmity. You are no more welcome. Leave in the name of Jesus Christ. 
En este momento se puede ver esta persona que vomitó conchas y sustancias venenosas recibiendo liberación y sanidad en el nombre de Jesús. Watch the screen. What you can see right now are cowries as the mass prayer is going on. The cowries you can see right now was vomited by this woman along with the poisonous substance you see right now. Any moment from now we're going to be asking this woman how come because this is strange to see someone vomiting out cowries live like this. So this is four cowries you can see right here. These are four cowries. We can see. So how come about this? You are going to be asking the woman. Any moment from now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, say after me, whatever I have eaten in my dreams from the table of the enemy right now be flushed out be flushed out by the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost say whatever I have eaten in my dream from the table of the enemy say whatever poison whatever strange object I have eaten in my dream from the table of the enemy right now be flushed out be flushed out be flushed out by the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost right now begin to flush out that poison. Flush out that poison. Flush out that strange hidden object. Flush out that hidden disease. Flush out that strange sickness. Whatever you might have eaten in the dream that has demonized you, flush it out right now by the blood of Jesus Christ and the fire of the Holy Spirit. Remember, the blood shed on the cross of Calvary is the most precious commodity in the history of mankind. By that precious blood of Jesus, begin to wash yourself clean right now. Wash yourself clean right now and flush out that sickness, that infirmity, that pain, that disease, that strange object, that poison. Flush it out right now by the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. Continue to watch the screen. That is the first calorie you can see right now. And we know what it means to vomit our calories. The question now is how come about these calories? Is, is she a herbalist? Or what must have happened? How did these calories get into her? This is a mystery, and we're going to be asking the woman any moment from now. She should be able to explain how come about these calories that she has vomited. The people around her say she has been complaining since morning that something was moving her. But right now, we can see what the Spirit of God has flushed out of her. This is four calories you can see right inside the poisonous substance she has vomited right here. Continue to flush it out. Viewers all over the world, those who are under the influence of this delicacy, de todo el mundo. do not allow fear, inferiority, condemnation, and guilt to rob you of your blessings. Today, you will not escape the anointing of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever situation, listen, whatever situation that you have brought to his presence, I'm telling you today, that case will not escape the anointing of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world, this is your turn. It is true you are not here in body. But believe with us that you are with us in the spirit. Therefore, distance is not a barrier. You get ready to receive your freedom, your healing, your deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Right now, I want you to place your hand where you have the problem. And if you say you don't have any sickness, your business might be sick. Your finances might be sick. Perhaps you have a family members at home that you are here to stand in plugs away. Believe that is your connection. Today, your case will not escape that mighty anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. So therefore, place your hand where you have the pain. Say your sickness, your disease, your affliction, your affliction. Your affliction. In my blood, in my bones, in my in my kidneys, in my liver, in my lungs, in my skin, on my skin, on my bones, I command you, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you, Have you seen it? If you have not watched your screen, you can see what this woman vomited as a prayer was going on. This is strange indeed. Viewers out there, there's a woman who vomited out these calories. You can see it on the screen right here along with poisonous substance. It will be necessary for us to ask her, how come about this? What is she doing? How did this happen to her? Was, did she swallow these calories or how? Because this is mysterious. So right now we are going to listen. We are going to listen to her. So madam, tell us your name. My name is Alaja Bola. My name is Alaja Bola. I'm from Oyo State. Okay. Can you tell us the problem that brought you here today? The problem that brought me here is that I've been feeling this thing for the past some days, that something is moving around my body. And uh, last week, Sunday, 
I decide to commit suicide and kill myself because of the situation, because of everything that I did. I cannot, all my business, I, I cannot succeed on it. I hold a lot of people money. No matter how I tried, at last I will fall down. Okay, what we want, what we want you to tell us, because the whole world is watching and seeing that something has come out of you that is so strange. This is not food. It is not food you are eating, but this is calories. Can you tell us, did you have any experience? Is it that you visited the, the witch doctor? Did they give you some calories to take? Or you had, what, what, how did, how did this come about? Having the calorie inside of you? It may be from the childhood. Because this problem has been coming up ever since I've grown. Because I did not live with my mother. I live with somebody that trained me. So it may be from the childhood. It may be when I grow up. They may put it in anything. It may be in my food. But what I know is that when I wanted to commit suicide, I fell down on chair. So when I fell down, I started crying that God, I want to kill myself because of all these problems that I'm facing. From there, I fell asleep. So when I sleep, I saw TB Joshua on white garments. He started praying for me that, so you want to kill yourself over this little thing. I said, ah, this one is more than my health. That I can't continue like this. I've been on this over since three years ago. That I better hand it. He now pray for me. That my dream. So when he pray for me, he said I'm delivered. So ever since then, I've been feeling as if I want to vomit something, but I cannot vomit it. In the night, I will not sleep. I will have sleepless night. I will, I will put my eye down. You know, all my body will be hot. All my body, will, I will feel it hot. I will be feeling hot. Even though where I slept here yesterday night, you can ask the people that we are staying together in that place. I did not close my eyes till daybreak. So, I now uh, come to TB Joshua. That's let me come here. I came here on Wednesday first. What happened while the prayer was going on? What happened to you? Because you said you felt something wanted to come out of you since after you had that dream and the man of God, Prophet TB Joshua, prayed for you. Can you tell us what happened to you while the prayer was going on? While the prayer was going on, I was anxious that this thing should come out, out of my body because I'm not comfortable with it. So, man of God came here and prayed for me. See yet, and see expecting that. I said I'm feeling something that something wants to come out, out of my body. So when the prayer is going on, I started shouting, God, Deliver me. I'm, I'm not comfortable with this. That's when all this come out. But I did not know. Kauri came out out of my mouth. But now, I think I'm lighter than before. Now, I'm lighter than before. I'm no more feeling as if I want to vomit again. I'm not feeling pain again because before my tummy used to pain me, but now I'm not feeling it again. Before I can't eat, even though ever since morning I've not eaten anything, I just take weak because I'm afraid my tummy may be paining me again. So that is what happened. I thank God Almighty and Pastor TB Joshua Emmanuel team, they stood beside me. I thank God that God did this in my life, I will continue to serve him forever. Elle souffrait de problèmes au niveau de son ventre, elle souffrait de douleurs énormes au niveau du ventre, elle sentait toujours que quelque chose bougeait à l'intérieur de son système, elle ne savait pas qu'est-ce que c'était. Elle a dit qu'une fois qu'elle est tombée malade, elle a fait un rêve, elle a vu l'homme de Dieu, le prophète, habillé en blanc, lui disant, « Mais pourquoi tu veux commettre le suicide ?» Et c'est comme cela que le prophète a dit, « Ne pas commettre le suicide, c'est un petit problème que tu as. » Et depuis, elle a reçu la délivrance dans le rêve. Elle s'est réveillée. Elle a toujours senti qu'elle voulait vomir certaines choses. Elle n'arrivait pas à vomir. Mais aujourd'hui, elle rend toute la gloire à Dieu. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please, many people are still curious as to know the source of this. How this problem came about. So, madam, you used to eat in the dream, right? Yes. You used to eat in the dream? Yes. Now? I used to eat in the dream. Now, the man of God said, man of God, prophet Joshua, said, we should tell you 
that you were taken to a place. You were taken somewhere, and that place, you spent a night there. And it was after visiting that place that you started eating in the dream, and you used to see yourself eating with elders in the dream. Yes. So, madam, the man of God says there are many other substances you vomited, but this one looks so serious. So, are you not surprised to see that all this came out of you? I'm surprised. I didn't even. This this looks as if it's magic on me because I've never expected this kind of thing. Okay, okay, so the man of God. Through the Spirit of God has revealed where this problem came from. A place you visited and you spent a night. Somebody took you to a place to spend a night. It was since that time you started having the nightmare, eating with elders in the dream. That came about what you have omitted out today. Let us clap for Jesus Christ. So, 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 we, we, we heard some people besides the woman... Immediately we came here, saw her vomited these calories. They explained, they, 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 they explained that they've seen her behaving strangely since morning. And now they are not surprised that this is what came out of her. I want to listen to one or two of them telling us their experience. Madam, can you? Okay, tell us your name. My name is Tell us your name. My name is Sarah, so I come from Kano. This is our sister here. She told me that she never come to church before. This is the first time when she come to this church. She said that she's Muslim. But she said, she told me that something is moving inside his own body. I said, until I went to the movie inside her own body, she said that, my sister, you will not know that, since, that something is moving inside my body. I said, wait, if you come to this place, now last bus stop, just wait. She said that you won't go home. I said, just wait now and to wait. So she, she wanted to leave. She wanted to leave the service. This morning that you call her, I said, wait. She said that she won't go eat. I said that she don't feel it. Well, this morning, she see the move inside his own body. I said, I said, wait, wait, just wait and see. So what now happened as the mass prayer was going on? That mass prayer is going on. She, I was so surprised. But I see how she's... I see how she's starting to vomit that story. But she don't make me surprised, honestly. This lady is Muslim. This is the first time when she comes to this church. Okay, you, you are from where? Borno State. You? Yes. From? Borno State. From Borno State. Okay, so we have listened to the woman. She said they sat close to her since morning. They've seen her being very uncomfortable. And she complained that something is in her that wants to come out. And at the same time, she had wanted to run out of the service before the mass prayer. But they kept telling her, no, don't go, don't go. Wait, today is the day of your deliverance. Let's listen to another person. Madam? Tell us your name. Where are you from? My name is Augusta Thompson from Bayasa State. This, uh, this sister came with us in the morning. After our, uh, after our line, she joined us from one line to the church. The moment we sit at this place, she started crying. Like I said, she's worrying her. I asked her, she says, it's the first time that I'm coming to this church. I'm a Muslim. I didn't come to this place before. I said, okay, relax. Then I explained this matter to her. She asked her, she explained the same thing to her. Now, she wanted to go back. I said, relax. And this, uh, my auntie talked to, my sister talked to her. Relax. This is your last bus stop. During the mass prayer, you will conquer everything. God will do miracles for you. After when the man of God touched her, she started with anger. That she want to go home. Look at see the way the people are. I want to go home. I said, oh, relax. You mean you mean you mean when you mean when the prophets were moving around and touching the people when they touch her? Because it's now with anger, annoying. I just talked to her. Even my sister talked to her. Relax. Wait for the mass prayer. You will see miracle here. God is here. I talked to her. Even 
give her advice that you will see something wonderful. So, so when it happened, when the mass prayer started? Later, she explained that something is moving on me. Before I was surprised, before I turned back, she for me that this car is here. That's how the magic happened. This is how You mean this is how the miracle happened? That could happen. Remember, God does not work magic, He works miracles. And miracles are proof that the scriptures are true and they still are. To God be the glory. Okay, madam, tell us. Madam, tell us, how are you feeling now? Check your body. I'm feeling fine now. I'm feeling fine. I think what is moving around my body now is not there anymore. I thank God. To God be the glory. Gloria a Dios, escuchamos este maravilloso instantáneo testimonio. Esta mujer durante la oración masiva vomitó. Even though, also when I look at this, I didn't know that I vomit carry. In fact, I really thank God. I'm so happy because I'm relieved. I know all my body now. At least I'm relieved now. I know no more problem again. No more death again in my life. I thank God. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. And what they are saying is true. Today is the first time I came here. I've never been here before. So how do you think moving around your body, how, how, how does it feel now? I feel much better. Do you feel anything moving around your body? Not so at all. Shall we clap for Jesus Christ? Elle dit maintenant qu'elle ne sent plus aucun objet bouger autour de son corps. Elle est complètement libre. Elle est une musulmane. Elle vient pour la première fois ici à la synagogue, église de toutes les nations. Elle dit que le loin, la prière des prophètes, elle a senti comme une, une esprit de colère monter en elle. Elle voulait même sortir de l'église. Mais les deux jeunes femmes à côté d'elle étaient celles qui étaient justement de la persuader de rester, car le Seigneur allait faire un miracle dans sa vie. Effectivement, durant la prière de masse, le, le Seigneur a fait le miracle dans sa vie. Elle a vomi tous ces, tous ces coquillages que nous voyons au sol pour la gloire de Dieu. Elle est complètement libre de tout objet qui bouge autour de son corps. Y escuchamos este maravilloso testimonio. Esta mujer vomita sustancias venenosas y conchas durante la oración masiva. Ella confiesa tener un, eh, un espíritu de suicidio. Cometió, eh, trató muchas veces de cometer suicidio. Ella nos dice que eh, tenía muchos malos sueños, que comía en sus sueños. Y la intervención de las palabras del hombre de Dios, quien dice que ella fue llevada a un lugar. Cuando ella fue a ese lugar, fue que empezó a tener sueños comiendo eh, en la mesa del enemigo. Y, a, y así entonces... Ella recibe esta liberación en el nombre de Jesús. Let us remain in an attitude of prayer. We can see what the Lord is doing in our midst. So many people vomiting our strange substance today. This is total cleansing. So whatever is your challenge, even in your business, even in your career, in your family, marital problems, sickness, you should know by now that it is all over. Let us rise up on our feet. These are the things planted by sin. We can see what wrong has planted in our life. We can see what Satan has planted in our life. But today, the mighty God uprooted it. Today, whatever that has been planted by sin or wrong or Satan in your life shall be uprooted today in the name of Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world, this is your turn. Whatever that has been planted by sin or wrong or Satan in your life shall be uprooted today in the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 13, Jesus says, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted shall be uprooted. Therefore, I declare and decree that whatever that Satan has planted in your life, in the name of Jesus Christ, be uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever root of sickness, whatever root of sin, whatever root of disease, whatever root of affliction in your life, I command you to be uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ. 
en tu vida le ordeno que se arranque en el nombre de Jesús. evidence of the power of God walking in the spirit. Right now, continue to act faith to receive all of God's blessings today in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Today you are released from that yoke of limitation. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are released from that yoke of failure. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are released from that yoke of rejection. You are released
begin to command the power of restoration upon your finances. Begin to command the power of restoration upon your finances. Upon your family. Your career. Your family. Your relationship. Command restoration upon everything that has to do with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You have been set aside for the Lord's attention. Therefore, whatever you say shall be said in heaven. Viewers all over the world, begin to command the power of restoration upon your finances, upon your career, upon your business, upon your family, upon your children, upon your studies, upon your life. Begin to command the power of restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to command the power of restoration. Command the power of redemption. Command the power of liberation. Upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of Galatians 4 verse 7. The Bible says. You are no longer a slave to fear. As from today. You are a child of promise. First, your neighbor, say neighbor. As from today, it was a say it if you if you believe it with all your heart. Say it with all your heart. Say neighbor. It was a as from today. I am no longer a slave to hatred. I am no longer a slave to fear. Come. The solution is your neighbor. 
The song says, Jehovah has a final say. God has a final say. Praise the Lord. I have a message for you. The man of God said to you that you are blessed indeed. You are only two that understand what I'm saying. He said, you are blessed. Because he has been standing on the gap for you, for me, and for the whole world. He has been with us from the beginning. You have seen the signs. You have seen it. I'm telling you, your case will become an argument in the name of Jesus. You are coming with testimony. He's sending his greetings to every one of you. He's praying for every one of us. Someone, some way is saying for you, you are not alone. You believe that? Yes. Lift up your voice and thank you, Jesus. Thank you, you see what happened to that woman? You saw? This means somebody is some way praying for you. Say, God has answered my prayers. Yes. Lift up your voice and say, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. thank you, Father, for answering my prayers. I am blessed. I am I'm redeemed. I'm I am saved. Give thanks to God. Give thanks to God. Give thanks to God. Viewers, you are blessed. You are included. Give thanks to God. Lift up your voice and say, thank you, Jesus, for my blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember, you are not here alone. You are here to represent your nation. Please, whatever contact point you have, lift it up. And just cry out to God for mercy and favor. Remember the prophecy gave for this year. Lift up your voice, lift up your voice, ask God his favor and mercy for your country. Pray for your leader. Pray for your nation, pray for your country. Ask God, intervention of God, his mercy and his favor. 
The Bible says righteousness exalts a nation. And righteousness is the backbone of every nation. As you stand in prayer for the Lord, pray for your leader. That God gave them the spirit of wisdom to rule with righteousness. Prayer. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Ask God to give them understanding, discretion, wisdom in whatever decision they make. La compréhension, la sagesse leur soit donnée dans quelles que soient les décisions qu'ils prennent. Pidele à Dios que le dé sabiduría para toda decisión que tengan que tomar en tu país, en tu nación, a los líderes. Cover your nation with the blood of Jesus Christ. Cover votre nation avec le sang de Jésus. Cover your nation with the precious blood of Jesus. Cubre tu nation con la preciosa sangre de Cristo. He is a redeemer. He is a savior. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Au nom de Jésus. Ask God to strengthen you in this journey of righteousness. Remember, you are a channel. You are a channel of blessing. You are a channel of blessing. Say, Lord, thank you for making me a channel of love. Et des hatred. For making me. A channel of shining light where there is darkness. Make me a channel of reconciliation. Pray, 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 pray. For the Lord to strengthen you for the journey of righteousness. Il doit remercier le Seigneur de faire de vous un canal de lumière malgré les ténèbres, de faire de vous un canal de réconciliation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let someone say, I am saved. Jesus is my Savior. Sauvez Jésus est mon sauveur. I am healed. Jesus is my healer. I am strong. Jesus is my strength. Je suis fort, Jésus Christ est ma force. I will fear no more. Because the Lord is by my side, guiding me, protecting me. In Jesus' name, we pray. Give thanks to Him. 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 On est grâce à Dieu. May His grace, His mercy, His favor continue to be with us, to be with you, to guide you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Give thanks to God. Give thanks to God.